from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back with another warm one today. 86 the high in Lafayette, just three degrees shy of the record set back in 1909. But we broke a record again this morning, a record maximum minimum or a record high low. Any way you want to cut it, uh, 75 degrees this morning, beat the old record of 71 set back in 1976. And the record for tomorrow morning is 73 degrees. And we're probably going to beat that one as well. And we'll probably be a degree or two warmer tomorrow afternoon. Plenty of clouds clouds though, so a tricky forecast. So let's bring it over to the key wall and show you what we have going on across the U.S. And again, big snowstorm underway across uh, the high plains up through the Dakotas and Minnesota and then trailing that showers and storms and with it some big wind once again where there's not only high wind warnings across West Texas, but lots of wind advisories. That's the sol solid yellow blizzard warnings to the north, winter storm warnings in the pink, winter storm uh, advisories in the blue and then uh, on top of that fire weather is undergoing as well with those high winds this afternoon as of late this afternoon there were 97 uh, wildfires grass fires going on across portions of Oklahoma this afternoon so a windy day and again uh, we'll be watching that as well for us showers and storms lining up severe thunderstorm watches spanning much of the Midwest these go till about uh, three to four o'clock in the morning on the northern end one o'clock on the southern end and we expect more watches later on tonight. In fact, there are severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing right now. Wisconsin portions of Iowa mostly damaging winds and hail, so no tornadoes, but occasionally you can get a tornado out of these. Another severe thunderstorm warning just north of Kansas City, and then we kind of move this over and we can see that uh, trailing line down through Wichita, uh, perhaps impacting northeast Oklahoma, and later on tonight, that severe weather threat shifts a little bit farther to the east, covering a good part of Arkansas, and not much in Louisiana, but we shift to tomorrow going into tomorrow night. Uh, we see that severe weather risk is slowly pushing eastward and it does duck down into the northern part of the state where there's going to be a slight risk of a few severe storms, damaging winds, perhaps an isolated tornado and hail and Acadia is hatched in for a marginal risk. But right now we're not overly concerned uh, for severe weather risk locally, but heavier rains later on this week is going to be the highlight. As we take a look at nine sweeping Doppler radars, we're bird dogging some activity offshore and a few showers close to home, but all in all across Acadiana, we're relatively quiet this evening as uh, power Doppler three showing no echoes close to home. A lot of debris coming outside of those other Doppler radars this evening. So overnight tonight, plenty of clouds. It stays breezy and warm. Temperatures in the mid 70s overnight tonight. Then for tomorrow, scattered showers and a few thunder showers developing midday. Mainly we'll say the northern portions of Acadiana. Nothing too terribly bad, but there could be a couple of strong cells up here again model picking out one here just east of Natchitoches and uh, some action in repeats and over toward a Boyles Parish and then maybe Allen Parish and we could see uh, St. Landry and Evangeline involved so most of us rain chance in the 20% range but it goes up to about 40% northern portions of Acadiana and then about 60% as you get into Senla this front eventually moves on through but all the precipitation is going to be behind it we're going to see disturbances rolling on through and that's going to create an environment for scattered storms Thursday Thursday and widespread showers and storms coming in Thursday night into Friday and Friday looks to be a stormy day with locally very heavy rainfall and the European model backing that up uh, with a kind of a real unsettled pattern for Friday. That looks to be a washout of a day Saturday, not looking much better, but better by late in the day into the evening hours and we'll keep our fingers crossed that Easter Sunday uh, looks a little better. Plenty of lingering clouds, temperatures low to mid 70s for your Easter Sunday. As for rainfall, here's the rain accumulations. Notice we see a two to four inch swath across much of Acadiana. So some locally heavy rains back to the west. This is where we're thinking the flooding is going to occur. Uh, five to maybe up to an eight inch rainfall or more. And the GFS model pretty much backing up the Euro uh, bird dogging that uh, uh, portions of southeast Texas may be uh, ripe for flooding uh, Thursday, Friday, perhaps early Saturday as well. For us, another warm and humid night, mid 70s, your overnight low.
low tomorrow back up to 86 or 87 for a high. Mostly cloudy skies. That wind is going to be kicking in once again, gusts in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range. Not as windy as what we saw today, but still quite breezy. There's your rain chance scattered on Thursday. Then the soaking rains and storms Friday, uh, Thursday night, Friday, Friday night, Saturday, and then hopefully by Easter Sunday we get it all straightened out. If not, we go to next week and we got lots of sunshine in the forecast and beautiful spring weather with warm afternoons and relatively mild nights ahead. That's it for weather for now. We'll be right back right after this.